There you go. I got it. I got a little bit of a... Got a little bit of a did it did it in there. Yeah? Yeah. Got it out of my system. I wonder what a cool intro song would be. I don't know. We need to figure that out. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to the bar. Welcome to the bar. Do you think a cool intro song would be like a dancey song or like a chiller so like song? It would be like an intro kind of song. Hmm. I think it would be like, my personal vote would be like a, a video game jingle or something. A video game jingle mixed with a uh, deep dark jungle. Bongos? No, not bongos. Not tribal? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe tribal? Yeah. A little tribal? I don't know if bongos are the sound I'm thinking of. Are they? I don't know. Is that like boom, boom? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. But like, yeah, like a boom, 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 boom. You know, like think Jurassic Park 2 meets Mario. Hmm. That's cool. I like that. Yeah. I also like that tight line you got going on there in your makeup. Thank you. That's a sick tightest I line. I appreciate that. I really do. I don't know how you do that. How do you make the lines like that tight? Uh, how do you get it so accurate? Practice? How do you like get do you Patience. do you have to do that in one shot or else you have to restart or like how Pretty do much. you like yeah. if you don't get that in one shot are you starting over? Uh, it does fuck up some stuff because you're using water for like at least for this one I'm using because I have two different. It's kinds. impressive, man. I don't know how you do that. Patience, practice, yes. and it's impressive. big deep breath. It's an impressive makeup line. That's why it's, I don't do uh, it very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to mention, did you things. notice? The black side is a little star. I noticed that now. Yep. It's hard because these eyelashes are very dramatic. Yeah, and that other line is so bright. like bright that yeah. that's the one I picked up on first. I was like, that's yeah. the one right there. I had fun today. And it looks I cool. Played. Yeah, for sure, man. I played. It was great. That looks like you're ready to go to um, like dance bar makeup. It is UV activated. So is it UV? That's yeah. the UV stuff? The whole thing is UV. Nice. So if you have the black light coming, it, it shines out? Yeah. Sick. Yeah. That's cool. Except the like purple on the outside <coughs> might show up a little bit patchy because I was trying a thing. Mm. What were you trying? Uh, to blend colors like on top of each other. So how am I going to explain this? So what I was using was this UV rainbow pigment that I have. Yeah. And then you, I, I laid down the purple because I it, it's a purple and a blue. Yeah. So I laid down the purple, but the purple was too warm of a purple. Okay. It was closer on the red side and I wanted right. it closer on the blue side. Oh. So I put a blue on top of it and I tried to blend it. Mm. But because I'm using loose pigments, I wanted to see how they blended. Because if you're using pigments in a palette, it's different because there's a binder in there. So it's easier to just go and... Yep. Okay, I get it. So if you do the... And then... Right, you then make it, it then look it awesome. But okay. what I learned with these loose pigments is they don't really do that. Oh, okay. So... What I mean by patchy is like there's some, it's hard to see because of my eyeliner and stuff. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so right. there's some spots that like more of the, the purple is showing through and then more of the blue is showing through in other spots. It kind of looks like a really dark tie dye, hmm. which is not what I was going for. But it works. I made it work. You did make it work. That's what you do. Yeah, man, and that's a skill that, like you say, you've been doing makeup for a while, so, I mean, you kind of got it figured out. You got I'm still good learning now. some things. You got it pretty good now, though. I mean, Thank that's you. it, and they're always kind of tweaking and adjusting what's working and how, how to kind of apply it better, I guess, Well, there's right? different formulas of stuff. And there's different ways of applying that, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, with the, like, with the bright eyeliner color, um... It's a matter of figuring out how much water to add to 
the pan. Mm. Because if you add too much water, then it's too thin, right? And then it can blend in with your eyeshadow and that just creates a hot mess. Mm. And then if you put too little water and it's too thick, when it dries, it cracks, which is also a hot mess. So, well, so you want it like an inky consistency. You don't want it to be a hot mess. Basically, you, no, you understand. don't want a hot mess on your face. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if you were going out tonight, that would be a stellar look for another night, probably in the springtime, whenever. I and, just like, um, I want to get out of that habit of... Yeah, you don't have to put on makeup to go out no. everywhere all the time. No, it's You can just put it on like, to whatever, yeah. Yeah, like... For events or Especially non elaborate things, right? Like, it's like, yeah. if I'm feeling like I want to do something elaborate, I'm just going to do it regardless of if I'm going out or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear you, I hear you. Right? Like, I don't have to do neutral mm. makeup or simple makeup if I'm just staying inside. That's true, that's true. Yeah. And I feel like, from my perspective, it's kind of like... Because I don't wear makeup, so it's kind of just pertaining to clothing, I guess. But, like, yeah. I don't, like, put on suits to stay inside. But what if you did? Like, why would I put on a suit if I wasn't going anywhere that needed a suit? Why or, not? Or, like... What if you just want to feel like, like a boss? Okay. Movies and chill with, like, a suit on? Why not? I'm wearing a big fluffy party dress. Gonna be watching a good one tonight. With, like, lace and ribbons and shit. Put on your finest, like, suit. And you're just, like, sitting there like, this movie's great. Why not? I guess they could be comfortable. Our I guess. Are, see, I've never worn suits a full-on suit. If you have a, the suit that fits right, it's comfortable. Like, yeah. I've worn blazers. I've worn dress pants. I've worn, like, button-up shirts. If you have a suit that fits right, it's comfortable. Okay. But, like... It's comfortable to usually um, put on, you know, to be around a more kind of formal situation, I guess. It, it would kind of feels, well, I've never done that. I've never put on a suit to just hang out and watch a movie or something, so. Maybe it's something you would enjoy. Maybe you putting on a suit to just hang out and chill would, uh, maybe suit and chill would become a thing or maybe. something like that. Yeah. Maybe. Tonight we're going to suit up and chill. It's going to be the thing. Maybe that'll be the, the way she goes. Why not? Yeah, Comfy clothes out, suits in. Suit and chill. We've been wearing comfy clothes for two years. Yeah, I mean, suits and stuff, like, collect dust a lot of times. And, like, even the people that own a lot of suits don't barely wear them a lot. You know what I mean? So, I think I have one or two that fit me good. The other one, questionable. So I don't have, like, a lot of suit attire to begin with. Like, I'm not a huge suit collector. So, I mean, I don't know. You know, as far as my wardrobe goes, I'm not the type of person that has, like, 20 different suits to wear, you know? So, I got maybe, so, uh, like, five or six. Is it only a suit if it's, like, a certain ensemble? Like, do you need to have the pants, the jacket, the shirt, the tie for it to be considered a suit? Or, like, could you wear maybe hmm. just, like, the top half and have comfy pants? Would you still consider that a suit? I don't know. I don't think so. No? I think a suit has to be top to bottom. You have to be, in my in my perspective of suit. Yeah. I think if you have, like, a, like a more formal top with a super casual bottom, it's more just, like, formal casual wear. And so you wouldn't weird, call it a like, suit? You'd call no. it a suit? No. Yeah, it's an outfit, okay. but it's not a suit. I think a suit, you gotta have the pants, you gotta have the shirt, and arguably you even have to have a blazer for it to be a suit. I think a blazer needs to be a blazer to be a suit. I think so. I mean, uh, to me. Anyways. I love blazers. Oh yeah, if you get a comfortable one, they're, they're cool to wear. I like blazers. I like blazers. They're comfortable. Yeah. They make people look good. Yep. So blazers are nice. There's yeah. a lot of nice blazers out there, and if you find some... Yeah, it'd suit you. And I think, like, the amount of things people have done with blazers over time are unreal. Yep. I think, like, the legend of blazers himself is Don Cherry. Yeah. Like, that guy is the legend of he blazers. Is. He's yeah, had so is. many cool blazers. 
Like, you would watch Hockey Night Canada just, just to see. Like half the time, I'd be like, "What's Cherry wearing?" And he's yeah. a, you know, he's a legend. You so, don't give a fuck about coming out. Of his you know, mouth. if you're talking about suits and cool ones, Don Cherry is by far the legend of the the suit. Really, yeah. I yeah. mean, like he was so dialed in in his suits. You know, he's got so many suits that when I think of like people wearing suits and who who just kind of did suits really well and who's doing suits and you know don cherry has done a lot of crazy cool suits he has he has a lot there'd be, it'd be cool to go through and see like all of his different ones that oh he's more God. yeah he's had so many good ones he has yeah but he definitely he's probably like the top you know connoisseur of the suit the suit wearer at least in canada yeah definitely a legend for sure yeah for mm-hmm. sureies for sureies but yeah I mean, formal wear, it's kind of one of those things where, yeah, like, yeah, I, I've never put on a suit to just chill, so I don't know, maybe I'll have to try it out or something. But I don't know if that'll catch on, I highly doubt it. I, you know what? I think I would be okay. Like, if I, I don't know about a button-up shirt, though. Like, I think if I were to wear a suit... In a chillin' sort of vibe. Like, I could do the dress pants. Mm. I could do the blazer. Yeah. But a button-up shirt? I don't know. I don't know. Fair. I find button-up shirts to be slightly uncomfortable. Hmm. But I think it's because I have boobs. Hmm. They're not very big, but they're there. They're perfect. They're Thank amazingly you. great. They're palm-sized. Amazingly great. Fantastic. <laughs> Ten out of ten approved. Ten out of ten tits. Ten out of ten T. I got the ten out of ten T. TNT. Ten out of ten T. TNT. I'm TNT, baby. Ten out of ten tits. TNT now stands for that. Ten out of ten tits. Ten out of ten tits. TNT, baby. I like your T. I like your TNTs. It should technically be taught. Doesn't sound as good. It sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you're a pedophile. <laughs> you're rocking some nice TNTs there. TNT. That's hilarious. Oh my god. I like that. We're keeping that. 10 out of 10 tits. Thanks. 10 out of 10. So you got T. Yeah, we did it right. Mm-hmm. We'll just say that that's good. Mm-hmm. TNT. TNT. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get over it now. Sorry. It's all good. That's going to be sticking around for a while. Sticking around. Did you ever watch that show? Is that a kid show? I feel like I did. I guess so. It's a cartoon. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. Sticking around was wonderful. Sticking Holy around. Holy mackerel! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had that. They had a good intro for that show. It was they a did. cool song. It was they a did. catchy song. They did. Yeah, yeah. Sticking around. That's our next step in this. And then I don't remember the rest, because I, last time I watched it, was probably 30 years ago. Yeah, I know. I don't remember the intro <laughs> either, but it was good. It was great, though, when I did remember I that. I watched that show a lot. Mm. Yeah. But that's our next step. we got to come up with an intro. Ah, yeah. It has to include my burps. Okay, okay. We'll do something with that. We'll figure something out. One night when we're, <sighs> we're drinking beers and chilling, not Make it some... the bar... Yeah, we'll like... We'll record my burps. We'll make some nachos and come up with something or something like that. I don't think I could burp as well if I was full. I'm sure I could probably retrace back some of your past burps. If you don't could feel you? like you can't bring it on that time that we're recording. I can probably go back and find Oh, some. baby, I can bring it any time. If you can't bring it on the time that we're recording... Yeah, I know. You just have to have a few of these and then you... I just have to go. have a couple beers and I, I burp like a champ. Yep. That's it. Yep. But yeah, I mean, we'll come up with something. We'll uh, we'll do like a night where yeah, we cook up some good food or something, or we have a night where we come up with some sort of jingle. Yeah. I like making jingles. I like making jingles for all kinds of things. I'm a jingler. You're a good you jingler. Know. I'm a good jingler. I'm a good jingle maker. You are. I can jingle notes. I was playing guitar today. I know. I Electric you. guitar. Yeah. Bing! That's how a drummer plays guitar. We hit we hit like two notes. And I always air guitar. Yeah. 
hate air guitar. Yeah, I know Don't like, like three chords in which I'm not sure 100% what the notes are, and then I know how to solo in a degree that I can't solo to save my life. So yeah, I mean. I do it for fun, and it is fun. I, I love playing guitar, electric, especially electric guitar, just to pretend like you're some solo god. Well, electric guitar is easier to play than acoustic. <clears throat> yeah. And I mean, my guitar playing is like a 5 out of 10. So, I mean, for me to, to play guitar is like 5 out of 10, and that's probably, you know, some solos that make other people go. <clears throat> but I like them. And I think they're great. Okay. So, you know, I, I'm uh, I'm an electric guitar enthusiast. There you go. But I wouldn't say that I'm an electric guitar player that can consistently play good things. I wouldn't even consider myself an electric guitar player. Yeah. I strum. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. I can't power chord because I have a gimpy pinky. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I strum. That's what I do. What are some of the top songs that you like playing on guitar? Like when you're playing guitar and like just stuff that's in the pocket for you. Social Distortion. Yeah, they have a lot of good songs yeah, that are in the pocket. Yeah, it's got that like punk edge, but it also has this like rockabilly vibe to it. Yeah. That I, it just, it works well for my style of playing. Hmm. It makes your TNT shine. I guess that's one way to put it. I'm not really sure that one made sense, but sure, we'll go with it. When in Rome? Also did not make sense. <laughs> Damn it. Fail.com. <laughs> oh, man. Fail.com. When in Rome, though? How does that make sense in this situation? When in Rome. When in Rome. Do as the Romans do. When in Rome? Yeah, but we're not with other people. You asked me what I like to play. Yeah, when in Rome. <laughs> I, I just love the saying. He likes to aggravate I, me. I, I like that saying too, though. He but... likes to ruffle my feathers. <laughs> because he knows how to do it. <laughs> I just repeat things until you're like... And then I give you the face. I know. But yeah, I think when in Rome is a cool saying. I'm working on on figuring out exactly the great timing for it. I'll get I'll get it eventually. It's when you're doing things that everyone else is around that are blah, blah, when hold on. It's when you're doing things that everyone else around you is doing that you wouldn't normally do, but you do because everyone else around you is doing them. Oh, so if That's everybody's eating means. donuts and you don't even really like donuts, but there's a zillion donuts around and you just you eat, eat one. You eat a donut, and then I would say, why the fuck are you eating a donut? One in Rome. Exactly. Then it would make sense. Ah. Yeah. Do as the Romans do. Yep. Okay. One in Rome, then. Ah, okay. Yep. That's well, it. Well, that makes a lot of sense, then. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. You, you simplified it to its most simple explanation that's what i do and when in rome now makes sense that's what i do yeah even to the people that don't live in rome it makes sense well that's where it comes from i thought it came from ireland well obviously <clears throat> what when in ireland right You're so phlegmy why are you so phlegmy i don't know i've been drinking a lot of beer and eating a lot of starch no you haven't yeah Have you? yeah starch starch yeah Sweet potatoes. I think if I eat too much starch, it doesn't work good for me. My system doesn't like you too much starch. You only ate sweet potatoes yesterday and today. That's what I'm saying, yeah. But you were phlegmy before that. Phlegmy? I don't know. Maybe I got uh, allergies. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. You're phlegmy. There's things in the air now. It's springtime. Yeah. So spring and there's dust and stuff and... There's dog poop everywhere. There is dog. There's dog poop in the driveway. There, we don't even have a dog. We, we have got dog. poop in our driveway. Don't you hate that? I hate that. I hate it too. I hate it. If you have a dog, <sighs> keep your dog <sighs> on your lawn and let it shit on your lawn, not mine. I don't have a dog because I don't want to clean up dog shit. I don't and know, no man. one whose dog shits in another person's yard says, hey, my dog shit in your yard. Let me clean that up for you. No, no 
nobody. Nobody, nobody does. Goes, oh no, my dog nobody Shane, does. my neighbor's on. Come here, boy. Yeah. And then they run away and they never come back. That's it. And if it's in the winter, they might just kick some snow on it. And yeah. the next thing you know, there's you think dog I'm shit. Not know. There's I'm going to know. There's poop everywhere. There's I'm poop know. on the driveway. There's poop on the lawn. I'm going to start there's getting poops poop on people's lawns. <laughs> Anybody who owns a dog, you're just going to walk over and poop on their yeah, lawn. Yeah, I'm going to be like, hey, I know your dog took a dump on my lawn. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to take a dump on your and lawn. you're going to clean out my poop. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know what? Just because your dog did his thing, now it's my turn, all right? To me, that is, that's an equivalent. It's funny, though. I don't know. I don't care what kind of poop it I is. Don't know I, how we, it I don't know how we ended up with dog poop in our driveway. I don't know. Because I'm a certain sure. neighbor's dog is a spaz. Yeah, but we don't, we don't know. We don't know who's what and the what. You don't know. It could be anybody. It could be somebody who's walking by. It was a big dog poop. Yeah, I know. It probably but... comes from a big dog. Yeah, but there could be somebody walking by, and then maybe their big dog no, ran over because and it's, pooped. No, because if it was just somebody uh, walking by, the poop would have been at the end of the driveway. The poop is almost at the front of the driveway, which tells me it's a dog that's close by. Hmm. So, you know what? We're going we're gonna to take samples down in the lab, and uh, we're going to run some science experiments, and we're going to come up with some answers. We're like, going to find out the breed. We're going to uh, analyze it. Your little driveway it. cam didn't ever pick that up? Uh, turn that off. Oh, okay. Didn't work anyway. Yeah, it could have caught the dog just... taking the dump. Oh, maybe, yeah. And then we could have found the lawn to dump on. Oh, yeah, that's true. We, don't include me in this dumping. You're the dumper. You know what would be really I'm funny? Not, I'm, not dumping on, I'm not dumping on someone's lawn. So this would be really funny. You could dump on someone's lawn. And it might just be because... <laughs> I'm not dumping on I really don't lawn. think I could actually do that. I don't know if I could dump on someone's lawn. Maybe if they weren't around, if there was nobody like, around. Like, if I had maybe wicked diarrhea, I might be able to do it. <laughs> But, like, if I had to push. But if there was people around and you were just there taking a dump on someone's lawn, I don't think you could do it. No, I feel, I can't even do that. Everybody would be watching, everybody watching, like, what's that girl doing? She's just dumping on your, on this person's I can't lawn. even do that to take a piss. She can't even worry about it. She's just taking a quick dump right now. Like I said, I'd have to have some wicked diarrhea. Yeah. Oh, but you know couldn't what, dump on someone's lawn. You know lawn. what would be funny? Oh, no. Like, hypothetically oh. speaking, in my head. Couldn't do it. Probably because we watched Jackass, so now my brain is thinking of funny things. Jackass is hilarious. So, it would be really funny if, like, you put a dog collar on me and was and you were taking me for a walk, and then I just did, like, a turn around, out, a turn around and, like... <laughs> and then you pooped! And I pooped. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just... Oh my god, that will be funny. That would be hilarious. I don't even know if I could do that, and I'm not even the one who's pooping. I just have the leash. That's weird, man. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could take you out there to poop on someone's lawn. Really, uh... I would never do that, but mm. it's funny in my head. If it was like four in the morning and everyone was sleeping and nobody was around, would you be able to pull it off? I'd probably just start laughing too hard. <laughs> So you'd have to bail on the poop. I'd have anymore. to bail. I don't think. What I'd... if you just put it in a cup and it was like a drive-by and you threw it? Oh, that would be like fine. That. I could throw poo. Yeah. <laughs> so if you did it in the cup and then you threw if it. I... Yeah. And then you just threw it and then the poo went. And why? Then why did you get rid of the balls? I don't know. They just they just fell out. And it just felt felt. You're a like disaster. That. Felt like the right thing to do. Aww. But yeah, I think I think that would be hilarious. I think so. But I don't know if either one of us can pull that off. No, I don't think so. No. I feel like it would be. Uh... I wasn't trying to think seriously here. Mm, it was yeah. just. I don't know. Yeah. I told you I live my life like H a cartoon. Hilarily thinking. Hilarily thinking. Hilarily. Hilarily. Hilariously thinking. Hilariously thinking. Wow, that's hard to say. Yeah, that is kind of tricky one. I don't know. I'm sure it's been done. I'm sure it's been done. I'm Everybody sure knows about the fire poop bags. You know. Yeah, that's true. That's been done a few but times. But that's different. Mm -hmm. That's not raging a war on dog owners and having the dog poop in your lawn. Dog poop. I don't like it. It's you got to scoop it up, put it in a paper bag, try to figure out where the poop dog is and just... Put it back. Just, just drop it there. Just write return to sender on Just there. write like um, food delivery and then <laughs> drop it on the person. Food delivery? 
they open it up. Put on like an old receipt that you got from yeah. some sort of takeout place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't food delivery? What the hell? <laughs> That'd be so cruel. <laughs> but yet so funny at the same time. This isn't the hot dog I ordered? What? That would be funny. Yep. Oh my god, it's a funny, cruel, cruel, funny thing. I know, it's great. Yeah, but I think like a lot of people that don't own dogs end up with poop in their yard and they're like, what the heck is going on? Yeah, like I don't want dogs. How did I get poop in my yard? I don't even have a dog, (laughs) you know? I was so mad. I get out of the Jeep. It stinks, you get it on your shoe. And there's a steaming hole in the snow of poo. I'm like, why? Why? Oh, it's so bad. I know. Like, Mm. don't dump in my lawn. Don't dump in my lawn, man. Is that too much to ask? Just don't do it. Is that too much to ask? There's a lot of lawn out there. There's a whole lot of lawn. There's a lot of lawn. And I know people are probably tired of cleaning up after the dogs, but it's your fucking dog. Thank you. Yeah, and there's a lot of lawn. Yeah. Um, It's just, it's not that hard to ask to not have a little bit of poop on your own lawn. That's it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not out there pooping on my lawn. I try to hit the toilet most times. Yeah. I'm not out there, you know, causing no poop on my lawn. No. I don't have chickens or cows. You know, I don't have things that poop but on like, my lawn. But, like, chicken poo is not that... Is it that bad? I don't know. You know what? I've never cleaned up after a chicken. I, I'm not going to say whether it's good or bad. Try one chicken. Try thousands of chicken. Who ha- Yeah, but we're talking about a dog. Thousands of dogs. That's gross. That's what would gross. be the max number of dogs that that you would be comfortable if you had a dog and you just went to the extreme levels of dogs? How many do you think one person can take care of Me in an average size people? place? Nah, let's just go with like, you know, people that have dogs. What do you think like three dogs is enough? Five, six? I think three dogs is too many. I think eight two, dogs two in a dogs. household. Two dogs. Yep. Two dogs. You're a two dog person. Yep. Okay. Three dogs is getting up there. One's gonna get neglected. It's like, okay. It's like okay. menage a trois. One person gets neglected. Okay. So two dogs. Two dogs. Two dogs. And and if you're two people taking care of the dogs, then maybe more. But if it's just one person taking care of the dogs, I still think three is not a good amount. I think if you're going to (coughs) go that extra mile of more than two dogs, you should at least get four. Mm -hmm. And not for one person, for two people. Okay. So two dogs per person is my... Cool. Cool. I was going to go more than that. Yeah? Yeah. Why? Because I feel like some people can actually take care of a lot of dogs and it's fine. But on average. On average, yeah. Two is probably a good number. But there's there's people out there that have five or six dogs, and they're fine. They have good properties, and they take care of the dogs. You don't see the inside of their house. Uh, I'm not saying that it's, you know, you know, I'm not saying that if you have five big dogs, you might have a bit of a ruckus in your place. But That's not good for the dog. That's not taking care of the dog. I don't know. Maybe if the dogs are fine, they're fine. I mean, I don't know. It depends if the person's yeah. taking care of the dog's good or not. Yeah, but they're not taking care of the living space. Yeah. Well, that's kind of all part of it, I guess. Mm-hmm. It's all part of it. That's like saying I feed my kid, but they live in a pig pen, so Ooh, I'm still taking yeah. care of my kid. Yeah, okay. So there's some gray area. Yeah, there's some wiggle room. Just all right. Saying. There's some room for interpretation Just there. Saying. There's some room for interpretation there. I get it. I get it. All right. It's fine. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. It's true. But we have, we have two spiders... Yep. And they're doing good. Yep. We try our best. Yep, they're fine. Mm-hmm. I saw Spooks yesterday. Yep. She swatted at the water. It was funny. Mm. I just saw her little leg go... It was a mealworm that you got? Uh, it was a hornworm. 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 And she just ate the hornworm right up. She loved it. Nice. Yep. That's cool, man. That's cool. But I don't know if I would feed her a hornworm if I didn't see her. Oh. Because I feel like if I put a hornworm in there, it yeah. would just burrow into the dirt. Oh, yeah, that's true. And it might not, she might not get it. Fair, fair, fair. Okay. okay. 
I think what I would do is I'd have to get like a big pair of tweezers and then pick up the hornworm. Okay. Go, Here's a Just kind of jiggle it in front. Yeah. Just be like, here you go. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's what I would do. I guess that could pan out. Yeah. Neat. Yep. What would be the next um, animal that you would like to um, take care of or animal that you could see yourself having that? A scorpion. Scorpion? Yeah. yeah. Scorpion would probably be all right. I mean, you just get a you know, good setup for it. Yeah, you get a good setup for it. You know, you already do that at the science center anyway. Yeah, I like those animals. So, that's cool. I understand them. Yeah, yeah. They're uh, they're pretty neat, but I don't know much about them, so I have to Scorpions? research it a bit. Yeah, I mean, you've told me some stuff, but yeah, there's a lot to know. Yeah, there is. It's like you think you know stuff, but then the more you oh, look I learn into it, shit every day. That that's I what I'm saying. And like, there's so many different <coughs> animals that you look into it, and then you're like, oh, I might know that. I might know that. Most well, of the time, you're like, mm, especially with didn't know that. with bug type things, yeah. because people tend to not really like them very much. True. And there's not a lot of mm. scientists that deal with bugs because people tend to not like them very yeah, much. Yeah, and a lot of them, you know, tend to just be out in the wild because they don't become pets or, or people don't ha like own them, you know what I mean? They're just kind of out in the wild. I don't know. It's It's been interesting because I think uh, creatures like tarantulas and stuff have gain popularity as pets oh, okay because at the science center we're looking for a handleable tarantula hmm. and normally we go with the rose hairs because they're mm. the chillest species chillest chillest we'll put it in light quotes they can be cranky <laughs> it's like we're going to put that in light quotes uh <laughs> but they don't take long to get conditioned so that until this year, has never really been a problem. Okay. They're usually pretty abundant. Okay. But for some reason or other, not anymore. Okay. So I think a lot mm -hmm. of people are getting them as pets. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you have it then. That's cool. Well, I think the most important thing is that people are informing themselves. Yeah. Which, I hope people are. Which is usually the best thing when it comes to anything. You know, just inform yourself inform a little bit. Inform yourself. Yeah, I mean, that you can apply that to everything. But yeah, inform yourself about what animal or bug or spider you want to maybe look after or get into and then, you know, go from there. And I'd say, like, I think, like, with anything else, like, don't just buy it from some schmo. Like, especially with any animal that is exotic, because there's really nasty pet trade stuff out there mm, and yeah. poachers and things and make sure the line of where you're getting it from is yeah, clean. Yeah, you don't want to support that crap. You don't want dirty lines. <laughs> don't no, you don't want dirty lines. Mm. Stay away from the dirty lines. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's sweet. I like it. What about you? Um, hmm. One of those little mini hippo rats. <laughs> the skinny pigs. <laughs> Still love them. I call them hippo rats. That's okay. The skinny pigs. You can call them hippo rats. The skinny That's pig. Look like. The skinny pigs were cool, but I um. I informed myself a bit about that, about the skinny pigs. Talking and, about um, shit. Yeah, yeah, and you need, a, you need a pretty big setup for them. Oh, do you? Yeah, just for them to be comfortable. Okay. Yeah, like some people have smaller setups, but the more I've read, the more you have to have a decent size setup. Well, they like to run around. That's what I'm saying, stuff, they right? have to have room to move around. And you have to have the walls, but they have to be... There's a lot of better ways of setting it up, but the more more room you can give them, the better. Okay. So it's a pretty big, but you can't just let them obviously run around. So you got to have a nice setup in a big space that gives them enough room. 
So, I mean, realistically, like, I don't know if I don't want that right now, but I think they're pretty cool. They are cool. They yeah. just smell bad. Yeah, and I heard a bit that bit about that, too. But Yeah. All rodents have a, mm. a rodent but cool. smell, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's all kind of... Yeah. They all kind of wasp the same. Wasp? They got TNT. I like wasps. One in Rome. I've grown an appreciation for wasps. Wasps, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Well, wasps don't poop, so... Wasps poop? No, they don't. It's a myth. They poop! No, they don't poop in your driveway. No, they don't. Well, they might, but you probably don't see it because it's small. Mm, that's <laughs> fair. They got little butts. Fair. Okay. And little tummies. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't take big poops. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But, uh, nah, I'm cool with what we got. I don't think I want to jump into any more animals or... Not at this point, no. Getting any other pets or anything right now. Not you know? at this point. Maybe eventually. I don't know. Like I said, scorpion or... Yeah. Something like, small. I like yeah, small, I like, I like smaller, small things. Smaller animals. Small smaller things pets. that, like, are low maintenance and yeah. I don't need to worry about them if I'm not home at 5 o'clock. Yeah, them, that's you know? it. Not tight schedules. Mm -hmm. More of a loose, flexible schedule of things. So we have a thing mm -hmm. that we've been talking about at the Science Center uh, that we wanted to do. What do you guys want to do there? And I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but I think it would be hilarious if it happened. So our bird eater, we want to put her in a hamster ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? And see if she'll crawl around. <laughs> So you're going to put it in the hands wrong and you're going to see if it moves we around? We want to. We just don't know how to make it happen. No, uh, it probably because... would move around, I guess. I don't know. Like, see, that's the thing. It's like, A, how do you get her in there? Yeah, fair. <laughs> B, once she's in there... How would... do you get it out? Getting it out might not be as hard. Oh, yeah, because it would probably just crawl out. Yeah, you could kind of just go, here you go, and she'd be like, yay. And then you want to just see if it'll move around the science center. Yeah. Freely. Yeah. Get some exercise. Yeah. Yeah, it might be good exercise for it to move around a lot, <laughs> Just... right? I think that would probably be a neat thing to try. It would be. It would probably be good exercise for it and get it moving around a little bit. It would be interesting to see yeah. if they moved or if she just, like, mm -hmm. hung out. Hmm. I don't know. So many things you don't know until you try it. You know, and then I, I don't know if anybody's ever done that before, but it could be something interesting to uh, to give it a shot. You never know what you're going to get. You going to keep that on there? No, his head's too big. It's not going to say? No, I don't think so. What about on yours? Do you think you can make it work? I don't know. His head might be too small. Pass it. Try it out. See. Huh. That might look okay from that angle. Oh, maybe. Cool. Uh -huh. I don't know. I'll, leave it, I'll like leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else is cool? What? That there's a lot of live music coming back all over the place again, and I love it, and it's great. And I think everybody should look into as many live concerts. Toronto has so many people playing live music in the spring. I was looking at the Toronto stuff, and there's a lot of cool bands and musicians and artists playing in Toronto. Yeah? Yeah. So if you're in the Toronto area, look up music and venues and artists, because there are a ton of people putting together some amazing things. And even locally here, in the Sudbury area, there's a lot of stuff happening again. So I am excited about it. And I'm always excited about musicians and artists and putting on shows and plays and whatever else is going on. It's some of the best stuff to do. So look out for the shows and um, go check them out. Because there's a lot of talented people putting on shows. Shows. Shows, shows, shows. And not just the musicians out there. I mean, we have to think also like live plays and stuff. That's what I said, plays. Yeah, I threw plays in there. You did? Yeah. No, yeah. you did not. Well, you'll see it on the playback. I said plays. I don't think you did. Yeah, watch the playback. All right. Watch the playback. I said plays. Okay. Well, Two we'll plays watch. in there. Okay. Plays. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, plays, musicals, whatever, man. 
Um, Go support your local yes, museums. Live and events. Stuff. Everybody, everybody. Too many people say, "Oh, there's nothing to do. I'm bored." There's just so many things that people are organizing, and there's a lot of talented, amazing people putting together live shows and plays and performing music at different venues. So throw in five bucks and go see a show, whatever it is. As long as it's not $2,000, because that seems excessive. <laughs> I won't even get into that. Oh, God. I, I'm not getting into reselling tickets because I don't fully understand that whole world of re trying to just buy tickets to resell them. I'm not even going to yeah, get into that. Yeah, those people suck. I'm not even going to get into that. I hate those people. But if you can get a ticket that's not trying to be resold from somebody that just bought the ticket to resell it, then, you know, get get those ones. Yeah. <laughs> if you can. And if you need to buy a resale ticket, watch out where you're getting it from. Let me tell you that much. This year... <clears throat> but support the tickets in ours. So, it, I, I know Halloween's a long way away, mm. but I like Halloween. Yeah, so, Halloween uh, is always kind of a thing. So To me, Halloween uh, is always like and, a thing And we're also almost at halfway to Halloween. Sure, it's always it always comes isn't, around. Isn't April halfway wearing to Halloween? Wearing costumes right? is, I don't know, I'm not sure. Probably I if you so, look at it. Right? Yeah, because Halloween's October. It's October. Yeah, you're probably yeah, halfway, halfway, to Halloween's halfway, halfway Halloween. on the pinnacle. So, yeah. like, now that things are starting to get up and running again, and hopefully we keep running, um... I want to do Halloweeny things this year. Like maybe go back to Halloween haunts or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, go check out stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's now uh, that I'm not scared of haunted houses anymore. Oh like, yes, I was, I was so houses. scared of haunted houses. Like I was the biggest wimp. Haunted houses? You were scared? Yeah, and like I've always loved spooky things. Like I've mm. always loved reading spooky books. I've always mm. loved watching spooky movies. Yeah, but for some reason. My overactive imagination could not handle the haunted house. You couldn't, you couldn't, the haunted house was just too much for you. It was you. too much. It's Sensory just, overload? Yeah, it just scared the crap out of me. And when, I, that was I when you were younger. It. Like, but now, I mean, even. But now you're okay. You can do I, it now. I think so. You can handle like, it. Like, I don't think I'd be able to handle, like, a super scary haunted house. Like, I probably still have to, like, take baby steps. But you're better than when you were younger. Yeah. Like, I right. I was so bad. And, like, even in the wimpy ones, mm -hmm. like, the ones that blow air in your face, mm -hmm. I would cry. Yeah. Like, I, there was one in Niagara Falls that I literally turned around and walked out. And the person was like, you realize you don't get a refund. I'm like, I don't care. Bye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Peace. You just couldn't, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Man, yeah, some haunted houses are pretty spooky. Yep, scared the crap out of me. But it all depends on the person and how much you want to be haunted by the haunted house. Ooh. Gotta go to Niagara Falls. Yeah, they have a lot of cool things going on there. Clifton Hill, dude. It's yeah. Cool stuff. I've heard. I've heard. Uh. Nice, dude. Nice. Do you you should look for shows in Niagara Falls. Yeah, it was kind of. I had a thought that kind of was going that way. Look for concerts in Niagara Falls. Yeah. And I don't know. We'll do a thing. We'll figure out a thing. We'll figure out a bash. Figure out a thing. And we'll do the monster mash. Some sort of graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. I've never been to Niagara Falls during the fall. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> That's funny. You've never been to Niagara Falls during the fall. No. Well, it falls all the time unless it gets too cold, then it freezes and it's yeah. not falling anymore because it's frozen no, it and it's freeze. not falling. Niagara Falls has frozen. It has, but it doesn't normally. No, no, it's rare. It's rare. It has, but it's rare. It has. Has it fully frozen? Though? I don't know. I think or once just or twice it's basically fully frozen. Yeah? Because okay. it's just... The Canadian or American side? Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to get into... Because the American too. side's a lot smaller. I'm not going to get into that detail because I'd have to look it up. Fair. <clears throat> I, don't know. I don't know that one. But I believe it has completely frozen. It's <laughs> rare, but I think it did happen at some point. But yeah, we got to go there in the fall while it's falling. 
Because it doesn't fall in the summer. It only falls in the fall. I've been there, I think... No, I've never been there in the spring either. I've been there summer and winter. Okay. But never spring and fall. Huh. Well, when in Rome... What? <laughs> when in Rome, go to Niagara Falls. Because everybody's going there. So you just go there too, right? Are they? Is everybody going there or something? Yeah. It is a thing. Hmm. Because it's a beautiful place, and they have a lot of cool things. They do have a lot of cool things. Yeah. They have a butterfly conservatory. They got haunted houses. They got cool wax museums. Um, hmm. Do they have a natural history museum in Niagara Falls? If they know. do, I've never been to it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's look into it. Yeah. Yep. Well, my beer's almost empty. Yeah, mine's getting there. That was fun. It was a good one today. We'll go clean up some dog poop that isn't ours. Gross. Don't let your dog poop in people's lawns. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye!